Hello everyone, welcome to first day of June Lead Code Challenge and it's a fresh beginning today. Today's question is grey code. So without much ado, let's look at the presentation and the solution that I have created for this. Grey code, Lead Code 89. This question is not a very typical question to be asked in, in any interview. But for consistency, let's solve this question. And before jumping on to the solution, let's try and understand the logic. Uh, we need an n bit gray code sequence is a sequence of two raised to power n integers and uh, there's two important aspects that are mentioned in the question the binary representation of adjacent integers differ exactly by one bit so if you look at this example uh, 0 and 1 differ by one bit 1 and 3 differ by one bit 3 and 2 differ by one bit and the binary sequence has been listed here you can validate that also the binary representation of the first and the last integer differ exactly by one bit. So this is the first number, this is the last number and it should differ exactly by one bit. So these are very two important constraints that were given in the question. Keep those in mind while thinking about the solution. So now let's talk about the algorithm that we are going to follow and uh, let's try and understand it by few test cases. Let's assume n is given to us as 0 and the answer would become 0. n is given to us as 1. 1 is nothing but 2 raised to power 0. And 1 decimal representation, binary representation is given by 0, 1. So what you are going to do, you will add 1 to the previous list that you have generated. The previous list had only 0. So 1 plus 0 is 1. and now the list gets updated to 0, 0, 0, 1. Pretty straightforward. The constraints are met. The first and the last number uh, differs only by one di digit and so are the consecutive numbers as well. Let's talk about the case when n is equal to 2. 2 raised to power 1 is given as n and its binary representation is given to us as 1, 0. What we are going to do, we'll add 1, 0 to the previous list starting in the reverse direction. So you'll add 2 to this 1 and you'll get 3, which is nothing but 1, 1. And then you'll add this 2 to this 0 and you'll get 2. So two more entries get added into the previous list and its binary representation is 1 0. What is the total answer? The previous list had 0 0 0 1. So I am writing 0 0 here, 0 1 here and we added two more entries in the end which is 1 1 1 0 and what is the decimal representation for it? It is 0 and 1. So the answer for n equals to 2 is 0 1 3 2 and let's continue the process for the next iteration n equals to 3 and at n equals to 3 we'll multiply the previous number by 2 we get 2 raised to power 2 which is 4 and its bi uh, binary representation is something like this 1 double 0 what we are going to do we'll append more entries to the existing list and we'll move in the reverse fashion so the next entry will have this plus this element uh, 4 plus 2 is 6 and 6 de binary representation is given as 1 1 0 and we'll add 6 here next we have 4 plus 3 4 plus 3 is 7 its binary representation is something like this and the number is 7 4 plus 1 is 5 its binary representation is something like this 1 0 1 and the number is 5 4 plus 0 is 4 we'll add 4 1 0 0 so the answer at n equals to 3 is 0 1 3 2 6 7 5 4 so this is not 18 this is 100 1 0 0 and if you look at their binary representation 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 0 
वन वन जीरो वन 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 जीरो वन वन जीरो जीरो ऑल ऑफ दैम डिफर बाय ओनली वन बेट ऑल्सो द फर्स्ट एंड द लास्ट वन जीरो जीरो एंड वन जीरो जीरो इट ऑल्सो डिफर्स बाय वन सिंगुलर बेट बोथ ऑफ दी दैम सेटिस्फाई द कंडीशन एंड वी आर गुड वील फॉलो द एग्जैक्ट सेम प्रोसेस फॉर द अपकमिंग वैल्यूज ऑफ एन एंड अराइव एट आर आंसर I hope you understood this logic so without much ado let's look at the coding section talk less code more the logic is pretty straight forward i have created a list uh, and initialized it to a new array list object and added zero to it as a default case if n equals to zero i simply abort the process otherwise n is greater than zero and i start add uh, one to the list and uh, i initialize a variable that maintains the power factor and i have initialized it to 1 with each iteration i'll multiply it with 2 for every higher value of i i started from i equals to 2 goes up till i is less than equal to n i keep on multiplying uh, the current element th that the power element on each iteration by 2 and I, i with each iteration i start from the a uh, previous list move in the reverse direction starting from the rightmost index going up till the leftmost index and add the current value to the whatever the value in list is and i simply return the list in the end exactly same process to what we have done in the uh, algorithmic part without much ado let's submit it thanks for watching the video i hope you liked it If you like it please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel have a great day ahead